On this episode of China Uncensored, if you're looking for Xi, you'd better check under the sea, because that is where you'll find、um, him. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host Chris Chappell. China is building an underwater sea platform in the South China Sea, which is a terrible idea. Didn't they watch the abyss, or Leviathan, or Deep Star Six, or the Evil Below, or the Lords of the Deep? Wow, there were sure a lot of underwater alien creature horror movies made in 1989. I'm sure that was just a coincidence. But back to China's underwater sea platform. It could be a bad idea for non-alien related reasons too. This underwater platform will be in disputed territory in the South China Sea, a region claimed by China, Taiwan, Vietnam, the Philippines, Brunei, and Malaysia. Besides the five trillion dollars a year in shipping that goes through the region, many scientists believe it could be home to untold wealth in natural resources like oil and natural gas. Someone should really go explore that. Oh, right. So China is planning to build an underwater observation network at a cost of roughly 290 million U.S. dollars. It will be done as a partnership with Tongji University in Shanghai. According to my favorite Chinese state-run media, the Global Times, it will be used to probe the undersea physical, chemical, and geological dynamics. Well, that sounds peaceful enough. Oh, and it will also be used for other purposes. Wait. What other purposes? Is there something state-run media may be left out? Voice of America, help us out here. It could collect data for military intelligence, undersea mineral gathering, or seabed oil drilling. So, other purposes are possibly helping China's military and giving China the info it needs to plan underwater resource extraction worth potentially billions of dollars. Funny that Global Times left that part out. This whole underwater operation will take about five years to build. So, what will it look like? Well, this image from an official handout published by the South China Morning Post shows, I guess, the undersea platform, a robot with a purple beret. Those yellow things are probes. A microwave. I guess you need somewhere to heat your hot pockets. A giant torpedo-looking thing that's probably totally not a torpedo. And here, of course, is the deep sea abyss that will open up to reveal the eldritch abomination, that nameless nightmare that will haunt our dreams and consume our world. Just kidding. I'm sure this is all safe and fine and totally peaceful. As state-run media have said again and again, Beijing values peace in the South China Sea. But Beijing also values its territorial claims in the South China Sea. And just as important as the research from this observation platform is the fact that simply having a research station would strengthen China's claims to the region. The 1982 UN Convention on the Law of the Sea states that a nation controls underwater scientific research within its exclusive economic zone, which is 200 nautical miles off its coast. Ewan Graham of the Lowy Institute for International Policy in Sydney told Voice of America that. If a scientific operation is happening, that lends it a significant air of legitimacy to territorial claims. And of course, the research itself could also be helpful to China's military because any data collected could be used for both civilian and military purposes. And if you have doubts that the military has anything to do with it, you know, because it's being done in conjunction with the university, just remember the artificial islands in disputed waters. These artificial islands. The ones that probably have weapons on them. Now you might be wondering, since this is in the South China Sea, what about China's other territorial waters? Well, don't worry, because China may also be building something like this in the East China Sea. So maybe someday soon, there'll be no more pesky questions about disputed territory with Japan either. So what do you think of China's underwater platform, and how should we defeat the coming evil from the deeps? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm your host Chris Chappell. See you next time. Want to get awesome geek and gaming gear delivered to your doorstep every month? Yes, of course you do. That's why I partnered with Loot Crate. It's a monthly mystery box that contains cool stuff like collectibles, gadgets, and epic gear, like Comic Con in a box. And they're giving China Uncensored fans a 10% discount. Enter promo code Bridge10. Click here now to check out Loot Crate.